Hi everybody, I am Jason, that is Brett. And on this episode of Brett's Brick Builds, we've got another technique kit. We've got kit number 42147, the dump truck. So, what do you say, Brett? Technique kit, you want to just jump in, get right into it? All right, let's do it. Got ourselves the standard thumb opening. At which point we will open this and attempt to leave the box as fully intact as possible. Open the instruction book. Oh, two books for the build. Set those there. Got one bag, two bag, three bag. Our good friends, the stickers. You got the stickers. And we got some solid pieces here. Could be a couple of long beam types, and then the side of the. Uh, likely the side of the dump truck I would assume so Get that bag emptied I mean uh, box emptied out go ahead and set that aside out of camera shot I'm sure you notice the camera shot has changed a little bit, bit try that again with words camera shot has changed a bit it's a little different now due to the fact that there was a uh, unplanned damaging of the previous camera rig with my skull so we're trying this setup for a while we'll see how it works for us that piece was trying to escape right away so it was that one there. that bag also empty And bag number three. I wonder why there's so many two books with this thing. That's, I guess we'll find out as we get into the build. What do you say, Britt? Find out when there's two books. We will. Then set book two aside and let's try book one, see what's going on. us to measure our pieces and empty the boxes or empty the bags so this thing we'll do we got a, just number three two number threes and a dark gray 90 degree appears to be this one so we got two number threes going in here we'll push them down on my Construction mat here gives me a pretty good surface to push those so that they are flush. I don't know how good flush shows on film or, or camera, but we will continue on. I have another one, gray 90 degree. Slide that on top of previous. We have one of the long blue pens, one of the T shape three holders him in there and then the blue pin going through both of the gray 90s right there that's about where we're at now pretty exciting here we are what we got here check out our part nine pin piece it's going this way and that will pop on and slide into position. Set that there, and then we're starting on the next mini assembly. One of those, and then two of the what I call pin studs because they slide into the, the hole, but then they leave a stud on the outside, but they're like a pin on the inside. So, of which I am sure is not the proper name for it but 
push those two into place, and then we got two clear round flats going on top of those as I drop it. And we have a number six pin. There we are. Here's to be going in, pushing, I guess, flush on this side. Doesn't really tell me, but I'll go flush there. And then we have one of the ring spacer. It's going to be a spacer going in there. And then this will go through the front of the previous assembly we started messing with. So we're at there. Here. And he's going there. And we have two more. The dark gray, 90 degrees. Here. That slid over into position. There we go. Sometimes getting all Several pins lined up at the same time is a little tricky, but usually after you get the first one on, the second one will go on a little easier for you because everything's kind of pre-aligned after they're going through that first piece. So that's what we had happen there. Got another of the spacers. It's gonna go there. Blink. And then we're doing the opposing side. And two of the stud pins, which I'm sure are not the right name, as I've said before. My superpowers not knowing the names of nearly any of these pieces. I know the term clutch means how much grasp it has when it touches another part, and I think that's my, my real only Lego proper knowledge that I can pass on to you. Over there. So essentially, it looks like we got the front bumper and the headlights so far. That's step 15. Moving on to step 16. Another sub assembly, so we'll set the. We've been working on a side. Another number three. And then one of these. And we got a gray stud. And one of the 90 degrees that's going to go through the middle here. And then this gray one will go here. And then so we're just just that far so far here. We have two of these dealies. On each, this is looking to be steering, honestly. It's already starting to look like part of a steering mechanism. There we go. Four gray studs. Oh, that way. One, two, three, four. Okay. So one's going in here. One's going out this way. And the same here. One's going in the middle. And one is going on outboard, headed outboard. We have two five hole pieces. They're going to go on and Up 
lock this into position a little better. So we got steering, and then that is going to go on. Where is it going? That's going to go above, and then sit on center there. So I'm assuming we're going to shoot some pins through. Yep, there they are. Two longer blue pins. Put them in as I knock it out of the skew. Get those in there. There we are. And then once we get the other one in, there we are. So we got our headlights and our bumper. Headlights and bumper. And then steering. Or what I'm assuming is to be steering coming up. Two more of the long blue threes, or three depth pens, I guess you could call. There we are. I don't see a lot of those. Well, that is going. I say you don't see a lot of those, it's a quartered pen. So it's got you know the the four marks on but it's got a its own built-in shoulder on it, that one so push that into place set that there because it's kind of moving on to the next step our nine pinner and then our long tan pin pop it into place we have a yellow and then we have our instructions the one to one here's where you got to put this thing so we'll, we'll do that there we have this well now This way, and then it's popping in there. There, I can't see what go. That popped in like that. Two of the black on the one pins here. into place and this is all going to pop on for the chassis bottom of the chassis so we need two of the longer blue pins and two of the black Here going through there and there. there we are. And then these will go on from this side. There it goes. Again, trying to get them lined up through two plates. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Another nine, nine holer. And go on the other side. I complete this whole setup. The whole bottom of the chassis, so. There we go. Uh, two blue ones at the front on. That one, I'm gonna pull the blue ones back a little bit. All right, so we started with the yellow, or the, the, the tannish, beigeish, but we got her on there now. Okay. What do we have here? We have, we need two of the beigeish color pins. 
two of the dark gray spacers that are going on them. And then they are going to pop in there in front of the yellow cord. So that's where we're at roughly so far. What's that, Brett? Uh, yeah, step uh, 31. So, moving right along. About almost three quarters of the way through the first book. So going fairly quickly, I would say. Here we go, gray. We're go on here. That way up. And then this is going out the front. And then we have a Where's it at? There it is. Collar. One of the light gray collars going on. I think this is looking to be part of a dump mechanism, but I could be mistaken. Two more of these here. Two round red translucents, flat top type, and then two of the Excuse me, a little hiccup there. Stud pens going on. And the brake lights going on over those. And those will be on the back going. Get that centered up a little. As we've had happen before when we're pressing other pieces on, sometimes the pins want to move how they want to move. But we got them on there now. So now we got like a brake light set up. Two of the black pins coming out the side here. Here. And then right next to it there. Posing the one on the other side, so just kind of evening it out, rounding this out. We have, we have one of the gray, and then okay, put that in place. Not sure what that's going. Oh, I see what that's going to do. That's a pivot point. The engineering college paid off. I recognize that. Pivot point. For our, our steering. We have one of these gray quartered internal pieces. That's going to go on. That back down. Almost made a tragic mistake because this gray piece is going on first, and then this is going on, and that will stay in position. Okay. Set this aside for a second as we got a small sub. Oops. Got that stuff everywhere. We got a small sub assembly here, so. One of these and a black pen. Just going in there. One of the gray three pens going in opposingly on the other side. I'm just using this piece here to push that one flush. And then we have. Here, sliding on there, and then one of the black ones. I've got a through hole and a quarter hole, so a quarter hole's going there, and then 
another black pen coming out here and one of the half pen half quartered going up through there and that is going to go where is that going? Whoa, dove right out of my hand I was going to push in so that it goes around the top of the steering Back there we are. So that's where we're at so far. A lot of structure, not a lot of show yet. So. Got some colors now though. We got uh, bright yellow, yellow orangish. The blue quartered pins. There. Gray. One of the blue quarter pins. As I drop it. And then one of these longer. That's going in that way. It's going to push through there and then it'll center up. Okay. Not only at the sea, but that's what was going on. And that is going to go all oh, right here. That's going to go there. And that pen is going to go. Excuse me. Go right there. And we got a gear and another gray number three pen. Put the gear on top of that. So that's going to be part of the continuing steering system there. At this point, we've got. Two of these three holders. One of the dark gray spacers. One of the long blue. And two of the black. So we we'll put them into place. Just like that. Push on there, and this one will push here, and that one will pop into here. At that point, it tells us it's the end of part one, head on to part two, and we will do just that. Two number three pens. One of the dark gray collars to connect the two number three pins. And then these two gray collars will go across here. And then that part will go right in there. Now we're going to build kind of the inverse of that other side. So we got an L shaped yellowish orange. Two of the three hole yellowish orange and three of the black pins. Three of them going in here. Going there and one going there. And this is going to push into place. You hear that wind, Brett? Wind is whipping it up out here. It's been raining all day here. Now it looks like the wind has started also. So if you're hearing that in the background, that's what it is. The wind is a blowing. Looks like we got our cab going there. Black 
quarter pan is going through here. And then we have a three holer, two of the black pens, and the first sticker, Brett. And I gotta call a quick timeout because I gotta go get the precision tweezers. There we go. We are back and we have tweezers. Precision placement of the stickers. There it is. And only a little off center and a little crooked. So for me, not that bad. Not that bad. What do we have here? That, uh, seven hole. Up up there. And then we've got another decal going there, number two. Just going on. And that one, that one went on much better, which unfortunately only shows how bad the bumper sticker one went on. So, <sighs> anyway, next step. Wasn't it? Yes, that sticker. Four of the black pens. Two on each end here. What's that, Brett? About a quarter of the way into the second book, so. So I guess that's what, five eights done? Would that be, would that be how the ratio would work out? We are. Two gray pens go there. And there. And then that pushing on, oh, pushing on to that one centered piece there. There it goes. Boink, pop right into place. Got a five hole, three of the red pin studs. I don't know if I've ever seen these in red before. So far, so good there. We have one by three. We have an angled plate there, and then we have a small one by one angled. Coming back toward it. <clears throat> Flip it over. Have a blue one half quarter pen. Then we have this little little tiny wing. Little tiny wing. That is going to get sticker number four put on it. Move up a little more. It was almost off the edge of the piece. There we are. Put 
that on. Then there is the quarter pin with the hole in it going out the back there. That is going to go on over here. Pop on here. Pin on the end. There it goes. And that's going to swing back this way. Oh, we're tying a lot of stuff together here. It's going to swing back this way. And we're going to be able to put... There we go. Kind of securing the cab there. So we're essentially doing, in this step, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just laying them down on the mat and pushing them so they're uh, parallel and perpendicular with each other. Flipping it over. Let that pen. After having flipped that over, we will now go with the other tiny little wing piece. One there, and then we will. Say piece, put this sticker on. Not too terribly bad. Too terribly bad. Pop it on. A little ahead of myself. I need one of them. this piece to go on to the end of the wing piece. And that will swing around and complete the. It should. Complete the cab assembly. There it is. Pop into place there. Square it up. There we are. So far, so good. That one put on. That one put on. Have a number six. Or a dark gray spacer and one of the light gray quartered spacers. So we will push this in first and we will go here with the quarter gray and then that's gonna go, ah I see what's going on. This is gonna go in across there and then this will go up to there and I'll kind of do the finishing there so I'm assuming our next one's going to be pushing in this spacer I'm going to go the same way so the way that they've got that like quarter cut out I want it going And now we've got the, the other one by the quartered four piece there for the other the other side of the cap. Oops. See? Survive that drop and everything. Sloppy and just dropping that down there. Apparently I missed. Yeah, keep an eye on me, Brett. I missed putting a sticker on. Folks watching at home saw that step go right by and you were like screaming at me at the I can't hear you though. Alright. Now it looks like we're getting to the bed of the truck. So I got one 
here. It's both the, a little dusty out of the box. The yeah, others are the same. Okay. So we need three. It's going in the first three holes. We spaced the long blue pins. And we have two the black pins. There so far. One of the blue quartered pins, and then one of the black. Three holders, black three holders. I kind of drifted off on that. Here. There we are. More progress made. Okay, so these back two are going into there. That's going to be the dump mechanism. Don't laugh. Transport to both the same decal, it looks like. So we will say. Oh, this usually, but I'm going to go up. I'm just being right handed in this, having to go where it's got to go. We'll put this on essentially upside down, which will put it at the right place when it's in, it's in place. So putting it in upside down gets it right side up for I want on where I want on this next step, which is black pen in the end, and going on top of the side that we just put on. Polar gray, one of these, and one black. Let's go over here. There was this piece that we had before. We have pushed into place right there. The whole thing's going to spin, and then that last hole is going to go in this pin, eh? Huh, that went much easier than I thought it was going to. So that's going to be the dump mechanism there. On the other side, on the bottom of the dump bed. Nicely. I didn't think all of them five pins were going to line up like they did, but they work with me. Got our piece here with the last decal going on. No wrinkles. Looking good. Black pen goes in the front of this. 
and then this is going to go on here. Back pin went on. We're going to do our trick. We're going to pull the back one off a little bit, get the front one started, back one on, and then they both go. Sometimes I find that works. At least it did this time. Dark blue and a light blue. Last two of the long blue clips. Next pen. I'm looking ahead, but I'm assuming this one and it does goes there. And this drops in at the front of the dump truck bed. Although that one's giving me trouble at the front. Let's get that flipped up. There, it's popped all together. Uh, this gear is going to go here on the side. And then our four wheels. Wheels and tires. And the wheels, as always, we got kind of an industrial look, kind of a sportier mag look. And this one we're going, because it's a dump truck, we're going with the industrial look facing outward. And there we have her. Step. There it is. Oh, looking all shiny and starry. But uh, you know, steering. Around. And then we have this gear here. It's going to allow us to work the dump bed. All the way up and then pull it back and it's all the way down so and that there and there i think my only comment on it would be the wheels look a little spindly kind of a spindly looking set of wheels on something like a dump truck but i guess this is like a maybe just for working in the yard kind of doing some mulch runs or whatever for them but uh yeah I think the wheels look a little wimpy, but other than that, both mechanisms work nice and easy. As far as the steering and the dump of the bed. And that'll do it. So that was Lego Technique Kit 42147 dump truck, which it is. You can't argue with that. But Yep, sticker going the same way. Just making sure I had the sticker on, right? So for this episode, we're pretty much finished. If you enjoy watching the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. That helps us out for getting more viewers and uh, expanding channel and hopefully one day eventually financial so we can be paying for more kits. Maybe bigger, more elaborate kits. In the meantime... I am Jason, that's Brett, we will see you next time.